we are going for an aerobic run. I've never done an aerobic run before, or I just started BPN, uh, BPN's training app uh, from Nick Bear. And what an aerobic run is, is basically running below your max aerobic heart rate. And in order to find that, you take the MAF 180 formula. I'm only saying this from BPN's training app. You can, it's free to download in the app store. I'm not sponsored by any sense. This is just the program that I'm on right now. Um, but the MAF 180 formula is you take 180 minus your age, uh, and that equals your max aerobic heart rate. Uh, so I'm 22, so my max aerobic heart rate would be uh, 158. Now, I don't have, um, you know, a chest strap that it recommends or like a high-end Garmin watch. All I have is an Apple watch. This is a Series 4. I'm in desperate need of an upgrade because there's like 10 out there. Uh, but the biggest uh, fitness tracker that I have is a Whoop. Now, if anybody out there has a Whoop, you know that it's completely blank. All it is is a heart rate sensor, but it tracks way more than just your heart rate. There's so much more to it. Unfortunately, you can't pair that up to your Apple Watch and give you an accurate measurement of your heart rate. You have to get like a chest strap. I just ordered one. I ordered the Polar H10. That's coming in next week so I can get more accurate of my heart rate. But we gotta do what we gotta do. So we have our Apple Watch to give us somewhat of an accurate estimate of our heart rate. Before I do my runs in the morning, uh, before I even come to the park, at home, I'll do about a 15 minute stretch just to open up my hips, to just uh, awake my body after sleep, to get rid of any soreness or stiffness. Uh, then I'll come here and then I'll just do quick stretches of some leg swings, my tippy toe walks and my heel walks just to uh, warm up um, that part of my uh, lower legs. Uh, and then I get into it. So, let's go ahead and go. Are you ready? Let it bounce. run is controlling my pace because you're supposed to either sit at your aerobic your max aerobic heart rate or right below it so mine would be 158 or 157 and I noticed that I'd rather be too slow or be too fast uh, while I was running so I'd have to check I was checking my my Apple Watch like every 15 seconds just to make sure I was in my max aerobic heart rate. It, it was hard to, uh, you know, figure out which, like my stride. It was hard to understand my stride and to see what worked best for me. Um, or I would be too slow and I'd have to speed things up. And then when I sped things up, I was going a bit too fast and that had to slow things down. And through that whole 45 minutes, I was just <laughs> slowing down, the speeding up and slowing down. Uh, in that 45 minutes, I did about five miles um, and I felt great. I mean, given that I was really slow, I didn't, you know, need time to rest. I'm not sure if that's correct or if it's not. I know that my Apple Watch is, you know, inaccurate. I'm not sure how inaccurate it is, if it's off by 10 to 15 uh, beats per minute, but I was just going off of my watch. I could only do with what I had. I've only ever ran at parks. Uh, just because I don't know any tracks near where I live. Uh, although I have been looking into the University of Louisville. They say they have a free park. Uh, and one of these days, uh, I'll have to check it out because my uh, workout schedule right now with BPN is going to necessitate a track. So we're gonna have to get out of our comfort zone and try something uh, out there. I'm not a runner. I have never ran you know track and field in high school middle school or elementary um, I did play football from my sophomore junior and senior year so I'm familiar with running and sprinting uh, but not for a long duration of time like I am now so it's new territory for me um, but it's all about trying new things and see what your body is capable of 
but there will be moments where I look up uh, and you know that sun is coming up or it's at low solar angle and it's you know it's actually quite beautiful to take in nature that I don't always get to see every now and then. Uh, so it is beautiful to run at the park, uh, but I do eventually want to expand into running at the track soon. That's how I felt for my first aerobic run. Uh, my tempo was pretty unnatural, but it is going to feel unnatural, but this is how you build your endurance conditioning for those longer runs in the future. Um, so it's a process. We got to take baby steps. We can't jump right into it. For me, I like to just jump right into the hardest hitting workout or cardio session, but I neglect to understand the fundamentals and the technique and the form that I need to hone in before I jump into the harder workout. So we're starting off at zero. We're doing an aerobic run and we're in week one of this BPN training app. And hopefully by week 12, I'll have a better understanding of my heart rate. I'll start running at the track. I'll, who knows where I'll be at week 12, but I wanna stay consistent um, and continue to vlog like I am now. I wanna provide for you guys. I wanna give you guys great content and to create a community of like-minded people and just provide value. Comment down below what you guys want to see more of. If you just want me to talk about my experience with this new hybrid training, uh, a program or if you want me to do other types of content you know I'm here for you guys and I want to provide the best value I can for you guys uh, and also keep it entertaining <laughs> we're having fun out here um, and it's a it's a journey so yeah comment down below what you guys want to see don't forget to like comment subscribe and most importantly don't forget to have fun all right I love you